I know that I said favorite for so many things, but this is definitely the, the one. Hey everyone, I'm Lalia Boz. Um, you may know me from my Instagram account, normal.nyc, and welcome to my Dumbo apartment. So I live in this very old factory building turned into a residential unit in Dumbo, which is like mostly what Dumbo is about. Um, so off the entrance is my kitchen and it's pretty standard for the, um, this res residential unit. Um, it comes with a dishwasher, which I'm very, very lucky about in New York. And I do cook a lot because I'm Turkish and food kind of runs in my blood. But it's pretty standard. Um, I wish like I could have picked the colors of the wood, but um, I, I'm lucky I like it a lot and it's pretty perfect for just one person. So off the kitchen is where I spend my most of my time in. It's my living space, it's my office, it's where I am daily. I work out here, I work here. I have friends here, like this is my living space. One of my favorite purchases and my first purchase for this apartment is my gold gilded mirror, which is like crazy, crazy tall from Restoration Hardware. Um, it is like, it kind of opens up the space even more, even though I have already like these tall ceilings. The mirror is like the first thing that people focus the minute they walk in. One of the best purchases that I ever made and I actually waited for years for this purchase is my cloud sofa from Restoration Hardware. It was like a dream piece for so long as it is a dream piece for a lot of people. And so this is one of the last purchases I made for this apartment. It's from this lamp company in Los Angeles called Human Home and they make these um, lamps that you can literally plug into um, any outlet you have and then you put it up on the wall and it's pretty fun and I like it a lot. Um, next up is one of the favorite pieces that I have in this home and it has such a close place in my heart. Um, it is a custom made art piece from Alexander Kowalski who is a graphic designer and he made this for my birthday last summer before I moved in here. It's basically, you know, L for Lale, my name, which means tulip in Turkish. So I have the tulip there and the New York skyline and we kind of like talked over the phone when I was in Turkey for this piece and it was like one of the greatest gifts that I ever got. Right now on Sundays we have a flea market in Dumbo, literally like two blocks to my apartment. So that is like one of my favorite activities to do on Sundays. And um, last winter I was actually searching for a lamp to put up on my wall here because I cannot put any um, you know, light fixtures up on my ceilings. I need a lot of floor or wall lamps. So I was walking in my flea market one Sunday, not even thinking about purchasing anything but I came across this um, vintage lamp, which is like one of my favorite things in this apartment. And it just worked out perfectly. Um, after moving in here, even though I was not a plant person, I didn't think that I, I didn't even think that I was gonna be able to take care of big plants like this. But because I have very tall windows and a lot of light is coming in here constantly, I did decide to really go for it. And now I became obsessed with having a lot of plants and like I'm constantly and constantly purchasing more and more. Right here, I got my vintage Marcel Breuer uh, Vesely chair. It is um, a very well-known um, chair in the whole interior design furniture world. I got it from um, a vintage furniture seller called Friends of Form and it works perfectly for my space. The minute this um, chair came in here, it all gave me the idea to add more masculine, uh, more like edgy items to my furniture because I have these big, more, you know, high-end restoration hardware kind of like purchases and I wanted to add vintage into it to make it more eclectic in a way. My candle holders are from Crate and Barrel. They have been with me forever now. I have a little drink situation going on in here. 
Also, the art is from New York or Nowhere, which makes like these um, big New York prints um, and they release it like every couple months. So, because like New York is home and I'm in love with it, I really wanted to get a piece from them. So this part of the home was like perfect for a little desk situation. And I spent a lot of time actually finding something that could perfectly fit in here. And I got this from Urban Outfitters um, off their online website. And I'm very, very happy with it. I literally turn my chairs here. I take my meetings here. I work here. Um, sometimes I eat here, but this worked out perfectly for this little um, nook area. And this I got from a street vendor in Soho. He basically makes these art using Barbie and Ken as his figures and they seem like real humans. Um, moving on to my other chairs, um, these are the replications of the famous Pierre Jeanneret chairs from France and Son, which is another big furniture company based in New York. Um, I got two identical ones and I do use this as this chair as well. So my coffee table is again from Restoration Hardware, which is basically my dining table as well. Um, it's called the Live Edge um, Oak Coffee Table. I didn't want to like make a cluster on my coffee table, so I just have a couple books. This candle that I really want to speak about is one of my um, from one of my friends' brands, um, Numec N L U M E C. Um, she lives in Damu. She's a neighbor, and we met off my interior account. And now, like, he, she's like one of my good friends, and she makes these candles here in Dumbo, handmade. Um, so, like, yeah, that's like. A gift to me from her and it means a lot to me as well um, this here is one of the most special pieces in my apartment because my mom sent me from our home in Turkey as like a home gift one day and it literally is like 30 years old and it reminds me of our family living room um, which I have been living away from my family for so long right now that it really means a lot to have these more um, little, little pieces here and there that reminds me their presence in here. Here is a, a picture of my mom when she was my, in, at my age, 26. And it like this picture, I, I will cherish it forever. And I was actually gonna put up a lamp here, but I didn't think that this wall was impossible to do that. So her picture kind of covers up my mess, but um, I just, as I said, I love having my family's presence in my apartment. But I'm really thinking of getting a very tall library here because I have a lot of books that I had to put down into my storage unit, um, which is another thing that I could mention. Um, a lot of Dumbo buildings come with storage units in their, like, in their basements. So I do have a storage unit downstairs. So the last things about the living space is my side table from another great vintage shop in Williamsburg called Home Union, one of the greatest vintage shops in New York. Um, I got it from their online store and I just went there and um, bought it. This chair is another handmade item in my home. It's from um, a black owned small business in Brooklyn called Ray Rainy Home, R-A-I-N-I. It is like fully handmade, hand painted. Um, it's not the chair to that, you know, you can sit and lounge on. It's like more of an art piece than a chair, but I really like how it worked under my art. This is from CB2. I got it like eight months ago, but the reason why I got it is that I felt like it's it was a perfect complement to my beams. It's kind of the same um, structure, the same texture. Uh, and I always wanted something um, underneath it. So this chair worked perfectly for me. And yeah, this is the whole living space. So yeah, let's move to my um, bedroom. Um, so speaking about the bedroom, I should start with my rug first. Um, again, because of the, the structure of my bedroom, I really didn't have a lot of um, ways to decorate it. I really wanted to put my bed against my windows to make this more 
extreme effect. So this was like the only way I had on my mind to decorate my bedroom. Uh, my rug is from Restoration Hardware. It is pretty big. It's a cl classic jute rug in beige color. Um, I really wanted to go with jute in this home to have more of a natural feeling. Um, and my favorite thing about my apartment, literally, I, I know that I said favorite for so many things, but this is definitely the, the one. Um, it is the cloud bed from Restoration Hardware in king size in their classic Belgian linen um, cushion. And it is definitely, as its name, it's a cloud. It's very hard to get out of it in the mornings. So I wanted to keep my bedroom bed very white, very simple. I have just linen um, uh, bedding from different brands, like some of my favorite brands that I used here was um, Cultivar, Pursuit, Zara Home. Uh, there are a lot of great bedding brands out there right now, but I really wanted to stick with the linen and white. And already the bed comes with these big two pillows, so this was great um, for an addition. And the last thing about the bedroom is my walk-in closet. Um, the apartment already comes with this like large walk-in closet, which um, I added some like drawers here and there and some shelves. And it's like perfectly um, fine for me and my a lot of clothes. But yeah, this is the last part of the bedroom. So right off my bedroom, I have a washer dryer right here, which is another a very lucky thing about um, living in this apartment. And here I got my bathroom, which is nothing too special, but you know, it's perfect for, again, one person. And that's really it. That's my one bedroom, Dumbo apartment. Okay, Lale, why, why New York City? Why New York? Uh, oh, wait, wait, actually, I can actually say that with, um, so when I was, I used to visit New York before I even moved here um, with my family for years because they had some business here. And one day when I was like literally 10 years old, this is 16 years ago, um, we were walking in meatpacking and this, uh, there was like a street vendor who was selling some art that he like literally put on the, um, put on the wood. Uh, this is a quote from John Steinbeck that I want to read to you guys. It's an ugly city, a dirty city. Its climate is a scandal. Its politics are used to frighten children. Its traffic is madness. Its competition is murderous. But there is one thing about it. Once you have lived in New York and it has become your home, no other place is good enough. So I had this since I was 10 and I kept it on my wall since till I moved to New York and it's still with me. But I really think that New York is a city that um, it's really hard to settle down in. It's really hard to get inside and it will hit you in the face with a lot of the things that that is like lacking inside you till you realize that you need to grow and find your purpose in the city. But once it becomes your home, it's really, really, really hard to let it go. So that's why it's New York City. What's one local spot that anybody visiting Dumbo needs to check out? Okay, so one local, local spot. Um, as I mentioned, we don't have a lot of big shops here, but definitely uh, one local spot for coffee on like a Sunday walk by the water is Butler on Water Street. Should we go? Um, we should yeah. go, right? Okay, let's, go. let's go. Let's go. I couldn't let you guys um, get out of Dumbo without visiting Butler Coffee. It's my favorite coffee shop in the neighborhood. Um, thank you so much for visiting my apartment with me. You can find me on Instagram with my two handles, Lalebos, which is L-A-L-E-B-O-Z, and my interior account, normal.nyc. Um, thank you so much. Mm -hmm.